This morning I heard a noise on my driver rear wheel like this. So I jacked it up to see what's going on. So I removed the wheel and still making the sound and the sound seems to be coming from the brake pads. When I check, it seems like my pads are wearing an even. You see the one in the right, in the left, is not as worn as the one in the right. So most likely it's because these pins here and here are not coming back that much. So I'm gonna take the whole thing apart and grease them. I'm gonna have to replace the pads as well. So here are the pads outside of the caliper and take a look at this one. It's very thin on there. What it was making the sound, of course, was that piece of metal against the rotor. And it was telling me, hey, it's reaching the end of the pad here, but this is thicker, so it's going in diagonal. That is telling me that the, the bolts or the pins here are not coming back that easily. This one is a little bit better, but I'll show you how this one looks like. Brownish, which is not good. So I'm gonna have to clean that thing. Of course, that was the one that was not coming back that much and it kept the pad pressing the rotor all the time. So it was breaking and even. That is why it works like that. And if I show you the other one, it still has life. Yeah, of course, but I'm gonna replace them with these new ones. Look at the difference. All right, so I finished um, installing the brakes. I have, still have to put the caliper on top, but here's the new pad. I put grease to touch these sections. Of course, I grease over here on the top. And I, by the way, I use this brand, Ultra Brake Parts Lubricant. Um, then I also did it at the bottom here. I did it on the inside, of course. And up there. And I grease the heck out of it, this one and this one. And now they can move much better, very easily. So, and also compress the piston. Make sure that you don't overflow the reservoir if you are high in, in fluid. But I grease here and I grease the other side of these ones. Now I'm gonna install the caliper, put the bolts here and see how the wheel spins. And this is how it looks. So I finish in mounting the wheel and I usually test if anything is wrong, it won't rotate that much. I mean, if the, uh, the brakes are stuck or anything like that. So I locate the valve and the wheel ro rotates this way when your car is running, right? So and I will, get, will give it a good spin. I mean, you have to put some effort and I do this and I will release it here. And then I'm gonna count how many times the valve rotates. It has to be between two and three, and I have another video that I'm gonna show later. I'm gonna put it in, uh, in the upper right corner, but that, that's how to tell if your wheel is spinning freely or not really. Of course, this is a front uh, wheel drive car and I'm on the rear wheel, so I will be able to do this because I didn't put the parking brake. But this is a good test to see if you did anything wrong. If, it, if the brakes were wrong, I mean, you would do this and it would break right there. Now, I'm gonna give it a good spin. One, one and a half, I guess I didn't. Let's see. One, two, and some. Let's try it in. All right, it depends on the effort that you put, but if it, if you. One, two, and some. So that I consider a good spin. I mean, of course you hear it, it's because the brakes are touching, but once the car is running, it will open those pads. 
and because the pads are usually very close to, I mean, usually, yeah, they have to be very close to the rotor. Uh, so when you apply the brakes, it puts that pressure. But this is good to go uh, wheel now. I'm gonna do the brakes on all the other three wheels uh, just to renew the brakes. I think these ones are like two years, more than half old. So it's done.